In this exercise, you can learn to dynamically center your canvas assets according to any canvas dimensions. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do on my canvas is set a fill style, then draw a rectangle. So I have a magenta fill style and a 100 by 100 rectangle positioned at the top left corner. So refresh. So we want to dynamically get this magenta rectangle to be positioned in the very center of the canvas, dead center no matter what the width or height of the canvas is. So the first thing we should do is make a new variable and call it rect x. And at first I'm going to make it equal to the ctx.canvas.width semicolon. Now let's see what happens if we take that rect. We're not done creating this value, but let's see what happens if we take that value and put it here for the x position of that rectangle. Refresh. You can see we can't see anything because in actuality the rectangle is sitting just off of the edge. So what if I just put a minus 10? We should see a 10 pixel sliver of that rectangle come back on this right edge. Watch. See? 10 pixels of that rectangle came back. So all we have to do is say divide it by 2. Refresh. And you can see how now the left edge of our magenta rectangle is dead center. But we need for the center of the magenta rectangle to be in the dead center of the canvas. So what I'll do is I'll make these values variables, the width and the height of the rectangle. So I'll put rect w, this rect width, and I'll put rect height. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and just put rect y position here. Now let's copy that variable here, and let's make the rect y variable. Let's make that equal to ttx.canvas.height divided by 2. So above rect x and rect y, I'm going to make another variable called rect width because we also need the rect width and height variables. And I'm going to make that equal to 100. Let's copy that and do the same thing for the rect height. Now our fill rect function should work because we have our rect width, rect height, and our rect y, and our rect x. But we still need to do some adjusting to get dead center. You'll see that we almost get dead center, but we get dead center for the top left corner of that rectangle. So all we have to do is subtract half the width of the rectangle. So in the rect x variable, we can compensate for that by saying minus rect width divided by 2. And divided by 2 can also be represented as times 0.5. Refresh. You'll see now you have dead center for the width. Now let's just take that minus rect width and put it on the height. And we make sure we put this on rect height divided by 2. And there's your dead centering. You can also represent this as times 0.5. Put the same thing here and you'll see you get the same results. And you might also want to group those. Let's group those expressions. I'm going to group those mathematical expressions so we don't lose track of what's going on. And you see we get the same results. Let's group these here as well. So to find the dead center for the magenta object, to put it at the dead center, you have to take the canvas width divided by 2, and you subtract from that the rectangle width divided by 2. Do the same thing for the height. Now if I was to change the height or width of my canvas, so if I put my canvas at 300 and my height at 200 for my canvas, refresh I get dynamic centering no matter what put that back on 5 and 350 and there we go that's how you can dynamically center assets on the canvas